Welcome. In this video, we will talk about logical expressions. So, relational and logical operators can be combined together to form logical expressions. And these logical expressions are used to make selections in our programs. So, let us look at some examples of these logical expressions. The first one is going to be this one right here. We have not false and inside of parentheses 5.2 is greater than or equal to zero. So we can do this not false and the stuff in these parentheses at the same time. So we get this not false gets changed to true and then 5.2 is greater than or equal to zero. So that is true. So we have true and true and we know from our truth table that true and true will give us true. Now, let us enclose everything here inside of parentheses and do that not at the end. So we have inside of parentheses, false and 5.2 is greater than or equal to zero. And then at the end, we will not it. So we need to do these inner parentheses first. So 5.2 again is greater than or equal to zero. And that is true. So we get false and true. And then false and true, we know from our truth tables, is false, so we get false. But then we not that false, so we get true again. Next, let's look at this example right here. We have a set of parentheses, which is 4 is greater than or equal to 0. And then we're going to end that together with another set of parentheses, which is 101 is less than or equal to 100. So this four is greater than or equal to zero. So we get true. And this 101 is not less than or equal to 100. So we get false. So we have true and false. And we know from our truth table that true and false is false. Next, we have this example right here. And this one is going over the or operator. And it is the same example as this one right here, but instead of and, we have or. So we have this first set of parentheses, which has the expression four is greater than or equal to zero inside of it. And then we're gonna or that together with another set of parentheses, which is 101 is less than or equal to 100. Again, four is greater than or equal to zero, so we get true. And 101 is less than or equal to 100, so we get false. And true or false, we know from our truth table, is true. So we get true for this expression. Now we have this example right here, which we are going to not what is inside of these parentheses. And what is in there is this false or 3 is less than 5. And then we're going to or that together with this set of parentheses, which is 5 is less than 3. So we know from our order of operations that we need to do this first because this less than has a higher precedence than this or. So three is less than five, which we get true. And then we can also do this at the same time because five is less than three. So, or is not less than three. So we get false. And then we need to do these parentheses over here and false or true is true we know that from our truth table and then we need to not that true so we get false and then we are left with false or false which is a false statement and lastly we have this really big logical expression that we want to go over because these things can get as complex as they need to for the problem at hand so let's go over a really complex one, which is 17 is less than 4 times 3 plus 5 in parentheses. We are going to or that with these parentheses, which is 8 times 2 is equal to 4 times 4. And then we're going to and that together with this expression here, which is these parentheses 3 plus 3 equals 6 and then nodding it after that. So let us work through this example. We can do some of these operations at the same time. The first one we need to do is this multiplication right here. 
So four times three is 12. And then we can also do these two operations right here. Eight times two is 16 and four times four is 16. And then we can do this addition right here because three plus three is six. Then we need to do this plus right here. So we get this 17 right here because 12 plus five is 17. And we can do these two operations at the same time. 16 is equal to 16, so we get true. And 6 is equal to 6, so we get true here as well. We then need to perform the operation inside of this, these parentheses and the not operation on this true right here. So inside of this parentheses, 17 is less than 17. That is false. And then when we not this true, we get false there. So we are left with this false or true and false. And we know from the order of operations that true and false will give us false. And then we are left with false or false, which is a false operation. So this entire logical expression results as false. And that is all I have for you for this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.